Hey guys, today I'm jumping outside even though it's a little bit chilly. The sun is out, so we're taking full advantage of it. We're gonna do some cleanup, some trimming. Um, my weather forecast for the next like couple days is gonna be pretty warm. So I, the night temperatures are still dropping down to like the high 30s, but into 40s and stuff like that. So we did have a freezing night. Um, last night it was 17 degrees like yesterday or the day before but anyways so we're gonna just be outside here I'm gonna show you guys some trimming stuff that I need to do I did already cut my May no I did already cut my grasses back you can see right there back there's another one and then over here was a pretty big one we did do that these seed them you can see right here right here I'm gonna cut those I'm gonna trim my lavender plants which are these here need to be trimmed back and then down here I just have a few like touch-up stuff I need to do too and trim some things so it's not a whole lot but just cleaning out some of the raised bed stuff yet trimming all the flowers back the asparagus parsley different stuff like that and my strawberry plants. So we're gonna jump right into that and get started. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so out here I have strawberries to clean up, but I am gonna take runners off and um, plant them. So I think I'm gonna wait on that because I don't know where I'm gonna put them on the new property yet. I need to clear this bed out. I started working on this stuff here and I was like, well, I should probably show you guys what I'm doing. Um, asparagus needs to be trimmed back. Milkweed needs to be trimmed back. Oh, I think we got a lone onion going strong in there. <laughs> and take these hoops out, just different stuff like that. So, we're gonna get started. All this beautiful sunshine is shining down on us. All right. growth on through the winter so it protects the crowns of the plants so now I'm just gonna cut it back all the way since it's starting to warm up but just a note weed and um, it says to wait until you see growth but I think I can just cut them back all the way or maybe like leave six inches or so oh it is growing some of them are growing okay so I'm gonna take it back to six inches and get this cleared out too other things <sighs> it's always a really satisfying feeling 
having stuff trimmed. This is the result of just kind of makeshift raisins. The wood, it was like untreated raw wood, so it uh, had its better days. show you guys quick how I trim roses this is just like a landscape rose um, it doesn't really have a fragrance or whatever but what I do is usually just go back to like 12 inches kind of keeps it a nice shape and then we also move dead diseased or just things that don't look healthy um, any branches that are crisscrossing any branches that are you know going inside the bush to where it uh, can't get airflow through. So I'm just gonna go through and trim this real quick and then I'll guys I'll show you guys what it looks like afterward. But this is before. call that one good but I wanted to show you guys something here I made cuts make sure that I'm pointing to the right thing I made cuts you can see the way that your buds are growing that's the way that a new branch will start off so I want it to kind of go out and so like the top cuts that I made which this one I actually need to take off yet but they're all kind of growing out so that it's not growing inwards. But then I just took like dead stuff off and just different stuff that was crisscrossing and such. And it just looks a lot better. Nice and clean and open. And I'm just gonna go through the garden and do the rest of mine. And then that's all there is for roses. I'm gonna take rose tone and go around it yet. I mean, since we are moving, I don't really have to do this, but I wanna leave everything in a pretty state and let it grow and not have them have a lot of work when they, when they get here. So that's why I'm doing all this stuff and it's also fun and I get to share with you guys what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go through and finish the rest of my rose bushes and then I'm going to do lavender and sedum yet and I'm pretty sure that's it for trimming. I might go see if I need to trim anything on our little maple trees and our willow tree but yeah here we go. <laughs> You just kind of shape it down. I usually take it down to like, I don't know, what is that, six inches off the ground? And then it'll flush back from there. And then here's my other rose plant. I'm gonna do this one as well. So I'm just gonna finish these real quick. that are kind of crisscrossing, growing downwards. Not a whole lot, they're so little, but 
I like to teach myself how to do this too. Usually Mike does it, but I kind of want to learn how to see what I'm looking for. Um, Oh, the willow is sprouting its leaves. That's exciting. All right, so my camera is gonna die really quick here. So I'm just gonna let you guys go there. I'm gonna finish cleaning up outside and just enjoy the sunshine. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. What, man? Oh my goodness.